Well, one of the things that you did mention early, earlier on is the hardware support. And I don't know if you want to get into that now, because I know you've got a lot to say about the way the Linux kernel doesn't handle hardware support. Uh, I, I know you've yeah. ranted a lot about this, and I've seen it on at least two different streams so far. So <laughs> if you yeah. want to... If, I, 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 some, yeah. some years ago, I got to, to YouTube. So the funny thing is, like, so some years ago, I got into YouTube mm -hmm. live streaming and, and, and even like live streaming development and commentary. Mm -hmm. And now I'm, of course, like after five years live on YouTube and Twitch, like more, more people know me for being the U or U Linux influencers right, right. for my Linux distribution. But running Linux distribution for so long, certainly, I mean, not only I've seen most things, if not everything, but I mean, most things. I also have most hardware mm -hmm. um, that I run on a on a B daily basis, um, like SGI and, and Sun and stuff, P3. Uh, that gives me a pretty deep insight into how things really are and what most people only know from the surface from news sites. Mm -hmm. So, well, one thing I I've seen you bring up before is the whole the kernel cutting out drivers, which, from your experience, just continue to work. And it seems like yeah. they don't... They're cutting it, but it doesn't seem to make sense why they're cutting it. Yeah, that happens a couple of times. Um, so the, the biggest recently was, of course, Itanium mm -hmm. um, support, which, of course, we still support. <laughs> um, it's, I mean, it started with 386. The so minimum is 46. As they also deleted already Spark version 7, the initial Spark, the, the earliest commercial Spark from Sun from 19, 1990, which I also have uh, in my collection, like, like all those vintage and retro YouTubers. Um, and I mean, dropping, I mean, Dropping 386 and Spark version 7 probably makes more sense than dropping Itanium because Itanium was sold until three or so years ago, which makes it like a, what? like just sold and still probably <laughs> in operation in banks and insurances <laughs> and like pr probably some NASA space telescope stuff. Mm -hmm. And like Itanium make completely no sense to me. Um, I mean, this 1990 stuff, I can somewhat understand. The Spark version 7 certainly more cursed. Like Spark version 7 doesn't even have hardware multiplayer and divide. Right. Spark version 7, Spark version 7 only has some multiplication step functions. So mm. if you if you need to multiply 32 bit, you need to run a, an S multiplication, like mal S or so, like 32 times or whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, yeah, Spark version 7 was limited. I mean 386. I mean, I understand the kernel developers don't want to maintain super old support. Mm -hmm. And I guess for 386, it's more like Atomics, probably had less wide Atomics and stuff mm -hmm. for modern algorithms. But like, I mean, that kind of thing's okay. But I mean, Itanium, it was just sold recently. Yeah, I'm looking it's... at the other uh, Wikipedia it, article. It, it, it says and... 2019, it discontinued. Yeah, and it it fully worked, right? Like when they deleted it, like um, f friends of T two, they even mailed say like, hey, it works, and hey, we want to maintain it. Um, it wasn't me personally. Um, for example, Frank and uh, Thomas, and they wrote like, hey, it works, and like, okay, we we can maintain it, and like they deleted it anyway, right? It's not like and like. It, it worked, right? The only, like, on, on all the hardware we have, like, and that's the crazy stuff. Like, we are only, like, it's, the Itanium team is, like, a team of three mm -hmm. that I'm aware of, like, my, my, my Itanium circle. And, like, like we have, and maybe we have six, six machines or so, or seven, and, like, all except one worked. And the one that didn't boot, um, they fixed, like, I think Thomas... Frank or Thomas, like one of one of them, they, they fixed it in an afternoon. Like it was literally like one uninitialized memory mm -hmm. thing. And it's not like it wasn't unfixable, right? Like the only machine that didn't boot was an afternoon job to fix for mm -hmm. un, un, uninitialized memory. And so all the other machines worked the day they deleted it and we keep maintaining it, right? Until now, it's just rediffing this patch. It's probably a three megabyte patch of just restoring it. A mini, mini, the most minimal things which as hobbyists, as DIY influencers at home, we mm -hmm. it's like 
it takes no time, right? It's less, it's, you drink a coffee and it's, it's rebased, right? It's, it's not like people are saying it takes so much effort to maintain. It's like, like no, it's, it's just work. It barely changed anything. It's, it's there. A V run the latest kernel 6.9, it puts on titanium fine, right? Mm -hmm. Um, and we will support it. Um, uh, we've written this on, on the website. We will support this another decade or two just because for fun and be because we can for fun. Um, I have I've actually on my to-do, so I don't have... So many machines have very long. Mm. I've, like many I've collected over the years, like the uh, O2, SGI O2, SGI Octane, PS3, um, other power PC and spark gear. Many things I have for a decade. Um, the Itanium I only have since last year. <laughs> Um, it was working, however, so other people were using it, but like, no, it's deleted. Like, hey, do you want the titanium? It's like, sure, of course I want to have the titanium. Mm -hmm. um, and I have on my list, like, gaming on titanium. Like, you will see this on my YouTube channel, right? We will play some games. We will run desktop Linux. Um, we have Firefox to, to re restore support. I mean, yeah, okay, Firefox doesn't, Firefox does not have titanium support anymore. But sure, but that's not the main kernel every, mm -hmm. so... Everything else works. And there's other thing, for example, what else was recently? Um, all right, PCMCIA. So, I mean, they, they deleted or even older Wi-Fi cards. Yeah, yeah. I think I think the PS3 was and, on the list of the chopping block for that that initial list. Yeah, and so, so this PCMCIA, I mean, they also just work, right? I took, I, of course, I don't use them daily, but of course I have <laughs> an Apple, I mean, given I maintain PowerPC stuff for 20 years. Of course I have, I mean, I don't have the most, even I have only, uh, I have three Apple, oh no, okay. I have four, I have four or five Apple Power, Power PC machines um, left, like a cube, like it's maybe a cube. Mm -hmm. um, and these are super nice machines, right? Like I, th that's the difference. Sure, you can't like triple A game on them, like, but you can, like they were high-end machines, sure. It's 20 years ago, but they are people who just like their vintage cars, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that's my favorite comparison. It's like, hey, if you drive some vintage Porsche, Ferrari, and stuff. Um, and I just, like, it's like a museum, like a li living mm -hmm. living museum. And um, theoretically, you, I could daily drive them, um, except internet is a little bit slow, or, or rendering websites is a little bit slow. But otherwise, like, I could, 90% of my software, I could develop still on these machines. And I do once a week just for YouTube content and, <laughs> and fun, right? And I was surprised. I mean, I didn't, the problem is most people don't realize this until it's deleted because even I sometimes hear this in the news, I don't read every Linux kernel ma mailing list right, right. message. Like I took the Apple PowerBook out for testing and I was like, where's my Wi-Fi driver, right? Why, why, why does Wi-Fi not work anymore? It's like, oh, it's deleted, cool. And I restored the patch and it worked, right? So right. sure, it doesn't have the latest and greatest crypto, which is not ideal, but like for some testing and stuff, um, it's the same for the P3. It's basically the same. And it's not like, I mean, yeah, for most, I mean, but there's still even P3, right? We, the fun, fun fact, the most new users T2 currently gains are through all the vintage and retro support, right? All the Apple, Power, Macintosh, uh, Itanium, mm -hmm. PS3, obviously, which is also the, the last people who maintain this uh, is NT2. Mm -hmm. And as a funny thing is now that I finally, with my YouTube content creation, have a little bit side income financing this because otherwise I couldn't sit down a whole month and write a 3D tutorial, right? So irony is like now that I finally have like some free time and YouTube finance stuff of like, hey, we could finally write the 3D driver, which we could have ever written. And now they want to delete it, right? It's like, like, do you can still use it? It's uh, sure a little bit low memory, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the, the irony is every Itanium and Power Macintosh has more memory than a PS3, but uh, a 256 megabyte is yes, it's it's very compromised. It was compromised in 2006. It's yes, it's more compromised today, but it's still a fun system, right? It's, and on the other end, they add totally superflu support for Nintendo 64, right? Like, Wait, why do they... Wait, what? I didn't know about that one. Yeah, they, some, 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 someone at home has written support for Nintendo 64, and they sent it upstream. It's like, hey, here's support for Nintendo 64. And they were like, okay, cool, we applied, right? Um, 
and I mean that that's cool. I mean that that is, in my opinion, that is the way it should be, right? Right. And I would also like my my stand would be as long like just leave the drivers in there, mm -hmm. um, as long as it doesn't take a full time job to maintain them. Like if if it's just there and just live there, just let it live. And like as, so, as like sure if if it's it becomes super annoying to maintain, which in my opinion it is not. Right. Mm -hmm. Say so Bali, like many things they delete, they didn't touch for ten years. Like they like. No, nobody touched it in 10 years. Like, yeah, but it, it's working, right? Like, nobody touched it in 10 years because it's working. It's, yeah, it's, I don't understand this because what I also usually say is, like, I grew up in the Linux world when we had no hardware support, right? All, right. for me, all the stuff, people had to put hundreds, if not thousands, uh, sometimes even a team of five people had to put thousands of hours in to get the stuff working. And now, besides it's working and there's no real technical need and stuff, like, they just delete it makes no sense and especially given all the work it took to put in there and there's of course the other thing that um maybe you have on, on your list which mm. i would also have not engineered the linux kernel the way it is because like for me i would prefer a stable api which the linux kernel is not and so if the if like other operating systems there would be a stable api and you could have this drivers in binary form staying there and have this supported for five or ten years that would also be cool but given the fragile and um, intentionally breaking nature the linux kernel argument is like we want to optimize um and we want clean code and so the, the only reason those drivers break is because the linux kernel people constantly refactor refactor the code Right. They rename, they sometimes just rename, they rename put to delete or delete to put. Sometimes, sometimes, I mean, usually they say the name is better, right? Sometimes it's a rename, sometimes it's like they don't need an argument anymore. It's it's often such tribal stuff, right? Um, like an, an, an argument like, like put something or initialize whatnot, and the last argument might be Boolean, like delete or initialize or whatnot. And so it's like, they often someone sees no driver is using that except one or whatnot and it's like yeah let's remove this argument because like only this one driver used it and this is how usually stuff breaks and right. sometimes the name has even got worse like re recently they renamed something where it's like they renamed remove to put or so it's like like do how is put disk or is it like some block layer stuff like a year ago i was like like do how is this? this name is not even better it's like to me this name is worse but that is how the stuff constantly breaks and why the P3 support um, every quarter. Uh, yeah, the last year, every quarter upstream broke P3 support, right? With some rename and refactoring and ABI and API. And, and... The, the irony is <laughs> the P3 support is upstream and uh, currently it's broken. And it was, and, the, and I think for the last decade, P3 support, like Sony, PlayStation 3, I think it was for 90% of the time in the last 10 years broken. Like I or others usually fixed it, and it's even currently broken because I sent something upstream and it's like yes, yeah, white spacing button. It's like okay, whatever. So what I sent upstream is not even in there because so currently, um, the disk the disk P3 disk driver corrupts the data. Took me off, and so it always takes me like usually a day or weekend to find such things. Mm -hmm. um, why, why does my P3 not work anymore? Right, because they changed some, they cleaned some stuff up, and now it's corrupting the data. And yeah. The last year, every quarter, they upstream broke. Uh, once was uh, Elf ABI, they changed uh, PowerPC, the Elf ABI to... So that, that broke all the hypervisor interface. They broke the storage stuff and it's like... And previously, other stuff broke it, uh, like uh, open uh, device tree stuff. And um, yeah, for the greatest... Like, yeah, and that's in tree, which like, I'm, I'm thankful that it's in tree. Like, please don't delete it. <laughs> because if they delete it, it's even more work for me to maintain. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But that is upstream, but Itanium, which was working, <laughs> it's deleted. So, yeah, it's, I would just leave it, let it in there. But I, the argument also there is no maintainer, but I would yeah, yeah. simply, like, as long, like, stuff that's stable, I would say doesn't really need an active maintainer. It's not like it, like, it's feature complete and working, and it doesn't need someone to touch it every month. And mm -hmm, mm -hmm. if someone changes some API, it's some cool project find and replace, it's fine. Um, I wouldn't so quickly delete this stuff, but that's basically my personal opinion.